Hey everybody, welcome to our Species Spotlight uh, on the Java Fern. Today it's going to be on a plant, uh, the Microsorum teropis. Uh, this plant is native uh, to most of Southeast Asia. The typical habitat that it's found within is along the uh, edges or the banks of uh, streams and rivers in countries such as India, China, Malaysia and Thailand. Uh, the plant is somewhat unique in that it features a long rhizome with a root structure emanating from it. And uh, the plant uses this to adhere to surfaces that are typically rock or wood. Now we're going to touch upon a few points about the plant itself, size, color, aquarium setup, and so forth. Now the java fern is a very hardy plant, uh, tolerates a wide variety of conditions and therefore it makes for a great choice for beginners. Uh, the plant itself features long narrow leaves that are dark green in color and come to a kind of a pointy tip. Uh, it features a rhizome uh, from which it emits uh, a, a root structure uh, that one would affix it to hard surfaces with. Uh, it does well in aquariums, uh, really a minimum aquarium size of 20 US gallons or 80 liters. And obviously smaller tanks may be a little bit overwhelmed uh, by the size and length of its leaves. Um, it grows via the, uh, the rhizome and uh, that is something that can actually be split and then transferred so that you can propagate other uh, populations of uh, java fern on the hardscape you choose to affix it to. Now how should you attach the java fern or the rhizome of the java fern to hardscape? Well typically you would use things like monofilament fishing line, crazy glue, perhaps plant lead weights, uh, with which you could affix it to the, uh, to the surface. Uh, equally effective is sometimes you can end up being able to uh, press fit within nooks and crannies is the same type of hardscape uh, segments of the rhizome and the plant will do very well being set up that way. Uh, when it comes to positioning the plant in the aquarium, you would want to position it in areas where it could be a little bit in the shade of uh, some of the hardscape. Um, as well as uh, within areas, uh, the middle ground to rear uh, background of the aquarium and uh, shouldn't be shy about putting it in the shade of some of the taller, larger plants uh, in the tank. Now the typical type of water condition that this plant uh, favors is in kind of a medium amber tinted uh, water. Uh, the water movement rate should be about a, what we would call a medium movement rate, enough to keep debris from collecting on the uh, plant leaves. And the type of lighting that you would select for this plant would be a low to mid-level lighting type output. The java fern reproduces by actually growing little plantlets underneath its long leaves. The, uh, the plantlets can be removed at a certain point and affixed to other hardscape surfaces where you would start new populations of uh, plant growing. Um, the, the, this species of plant, the java fern, is, is really a good choice for low-tech type aquariums uh, where you have more simple filtration and more basic lighting systems. Now a bit about the water conditions for the java fern. Uh, like all plants, you want to maintain consistent water quality. Uh, you want to make sure that debris does not accumulate on the leaves, for example, and uh, the basic water quality is maintained at a good level. The temperature range for this plant is uh, somewhere between 72 degrees Fahrenheit and 82 degrees, or 22 to 28 degrees C. Uh, the pH range should be between 6 and 7.8 and the hardness level should be between 2 and 15 degrees. When it comes to feeding the java fern, it's really a pretty simple affair. Um, the plant features a rhizome with a root structure that is really intended to hold uh, the plant in place on a hard surface. The roots are not really there to nourish the plant. Uh, the plant takes in most of its nutrients via the water column, so therefore a regular dosing of a basic micronutrient supplement is fine. And for additional conditioning of the plant, small regular doses of CO2 are going to pay some dividends. 
In summary, we'd like to say that we are huge fans of the Java Fern. It's a plant that's very amenable to both the beginner, the seasoned aquarist, and the hardcore aquascaper. It's so easily attached to different hardscapes. It's, it's just great for the aquascaper to work with. Uh, it's even a plant that you can consider featuring with fish that would normally destroy live plants. It's very, very hardy in that respect too. It can tolerate some of the nibbling and picking at that a lot of other plant species can't. So there you have it. There's our species spotlight on the Java Fern. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe below. And most of all, happy holidays to everybody. See you next year. Thank you.